Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 495. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and we've got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. First up is new Pony Life Cafe pops up in Singapore. If you haven't, sorry, um, if you happen to find yourself over in Singapore, there is a brand new Pony Life Team Cafe that has popped up, selling a bunch of things that inspired by the cartoon, along with decorations and props showing off the characters. I have a feeling this was in the works for a while before it went up, considering Pony Life seems to be behind us at this at this point. But still cool if you want to celebrate cartoon horses in real life. And um, there's a TikTok video showing various blah 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 blah. Alright, <clears throat> so I've been to one of these cafes about two or three years ago uh, during the previous um, pony convention, uh, SeaPonyCon. And uh, it's it's a very interesting experience. It's a very interesting experience. Uh, you go there, you sit down, you have a meal, uh, you enjoy the environment. It's it's a very um, thematic restaurant. Um, I have a strong feeling that the inspiration for this is from Japan, where you have a lot of team based cafes. Uh, you got the Gundam Cafe, the Kirby Cafe, um, the Kamen Rider Cafe, Ultraman, and so on. So, uh, for this, they're using the Pony Cafe. And um, let me see. One, one of the few things about the restaurant, uh, I, I think it's called Ko, Kumo, Kumoya, is that it's not only ponies. They they, they regularly change their team. Um, usually it could be uh, We Are Bear Bears or um, something else. And it's just that this time around it's going to be ponies. So let's just take a look see at the menus. So you have uh, what are called? Hand cut nacho cheese fries, mozzarella cheese sticks, um, hand cut Truffle fries and so on, and then you got something like the dashing magical rainbow dash impossible trademark, uh, plant based burgers, uh, the oh my god, let's make magic together chicken uh, hot dog, and so on. Then for dessert, you got the you are magical. So, I mean, <clears throat> it's basically thematic to the pony. So, um, yeah, you have uh, just apple. Apple, apple checks, homemade uh, apple tarts, and so on. And yeah, so I've been there before. I've had a meal. Uh, I think I tried the one hundred percent magic hot chocolate, and I got a free gift. So that was cool. Uh, during my time, it was uh, G four proper. And yeah, um, they didn't really change much. It's just that their menu has been, um changed in terms of uh what you call this mm, team thematic uh the burger when i had it was purple because it was twilight now it's rainbow dash so uh, if you're interested in going uh, address this in the article and if you're worried about um if it's for for muslims out there if it's halal or not uh from an article i read about uh, Kumuya, they say that all of their products are halal, but they couldn't get the certificate because of how the process of getting the certificate is. Sorry, um, the process of getting the certificate is difficult, and the way that they do their business is they uh, pop up a team, and then close down for a few weeks, months, I don't know, just to change up the menu and they have to re-register or redo the test again and it's a tedious process. So um, they don't even bother with the certificate. But 
yeah, um, if you believe me, that's awesome. But if you don't, eh. So, uh, one of the other things is that you can go to the store and buy swags. Unfortunately for them, they don't have much only life swag. I, I don't know if that's an unfortunate or not. But yes, uh, this time the place looks bigger because uh, we, we didn't went here. It was a different store. Man, now I'm thinking, do I have those pictures up or not? It could be on my personal Facebook page. Oh, well, whatever. So, yes. Um, this is fun. I wish I could go. But by the time I would go, it may have changed. But on to the next news. <coughs> yes, the first 20 minutes of My Little Pony Maritime Bay Adventure revealed. Yay. Uh, a few different YouTubers have gained access to the start of Maritime Bay Adventure. Tons of... Uh, tons... Uh, adventure toss, toss, How of... Hmm. How of to their wow that is just bad <clears throat> I'm gonna try and give it a shot a few different youtubers have gained access to the start of maritime bay adventure toss how off to their audience Whew, okay uh, in it they show everything from the start To playing the full game for 20 minutes, collecting things, taking to talking to various characters, and displaying the animation you can expect during cutscenes. Right, um, I've seen a bit of it, probably the first minute, and just stop. It's not because I thought it was bad, no. Um, first thing for me, I'm interested in playing the game, and I don't want to watch anything more. This is one of those scenarios where I'm interested in playing. And I get a general idea of how the game is going to be. And it's not going to be one of those full of story branches or engaging stories. It's basically a kid's game with a very linear gameplay style and storytelling mechanic where you just go from point A to point B and have fun. So if I were to go watch the full 20 minutes, I will be spoiled and so on. So... If you're interested, you can head to the link below and go get a watch. Uh, as for where you can play it, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you can play it there. Um, if you have a PC, you can play it on Steam. And also consoles like Xbox and PlayStation. I don't remember if it's on the PlayStation 5 or not, but I do know it's on 4. So yes, you can go play it there. Hmm. Let's move on to the next one. Ah, Quantum Stories converting a prequel with Easy's backstory. Mm -hmm. the, pro that's right. the product page for the upcoming Quantum Stories My Little Pony Virtual Magic set has been updated with a description for their upcoming release. Apparently, their story will be focused on Easy covering her time before the movie which seems like it would be super interesting based on how strange she she can be when it comes to her new relationship you can find her sorry you can find the page over here blah, 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 and if you miss out on the initial reveal for this one you blah, blah, blah. oh that's cool uh, so if you guys got no idea what this is, um, long story short, it is a VR goggle app program thingy where you use um, VR and AR to read a book and the book comes to life. Um, what I'm gather sorry, what I'm gathering here is that you get a prequel story to Easy. And how she came to oh god you it uh and how she came to Maritime Bay. Which is really interesting because we didn't really get much out of her. She suddenly appeared and caused chaos and mayhem. Hmm. So yeah, uh this would be a very interesting 
uh, what you call this uh, prequel to read I guess and yeah um, having mixed media like this you know I'm reminded of a I'm, I'm trying to remember what it's either a, I think it was a game yeah I, I think it was a game but I kind of not remember which game was it because uh, the the game was oh uh, pff, Kingdom Hearts an example Whew, that was all bad <clears throat> but no um uh, Resident Evil probably but yeah uh, I'm trying to remember that they they cross media a lot of things like from the main thing which is was the game and then to do the prequels they put in the uh, prequel in a manga or novel and then brought it uh, and then continue on to the game and then uh, the epilogue which would be in some kind of um, novel or game or something like that or, or maybe a comic yes so doing this kind of media cross thing is very interesting but it would be so confusing to get your materials right and if you play Kingdom Hearts and I do know some of you at home I say oh it's not that confusing you just need to go here 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 but in all honesty people just want to play the mainline story Kingdom Hearts 1, 2 and 3 and then if you introduce whatever's in between then that gets so confusing and you get a lot of what you call this a, a lot of gaps in your stories I bet you if you were to play Kingdom Hearts 1, 2 and 3 you got no idea what's going on in between goodness me so yes um I like the theory for sorry I like the concept for this one it's very interesting but it's starting to become the thing that I fear oh well let's move on to the last one for this week and G5 My Little Pony Funko Pop and Launch G5 figure incoming for 2022 according to Toy World magazine we are going to see new G5 Funko Pops figure for 2022 if you aren't aware of what those are we have G4 versions of the line where their uh, BD black eyes along with their older pony sorry uh, older gen ponies from 2022 uh, they don't mention any of those neat standing ponies you we used to get but I can imagine they wouldn't be against bringing back that mold if the pop are successful All right. ah yes <clears throat> let's see um, if you are a fan of Funko's pops then you're gonna get those little bitty figures I do have them but they're not easily accessible for me so yes uh, you, you'll get those black with the eyes and they're cool I think if you're interested um, not a f not many are fan because they will they, they think that ah why should I spend 10 bucks on this crap while I can spend 30 bucks on an animal figure that's way more worth it because it's animal and they have proportional like they they look real like the real thing on the TV yeah but in my honest opinion it's based on what you can afford and if you can afford those animal figures have any but yeah um Funko Pops are interesting and launch of five figures I, I got no idea what those are no, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check out the news. I haven't really gotten into it that much to check out. Oh no. Okay. Um, Pony, yes, blah blah blah. Um, what was the page again? 
130. Okay, uh, here, let's go. Mm, okay, it's just saying words. All right. Um, yeah, um, that's, that's an idea for them to go on. We'll see. And I don't know. G5 has been very interesting with its release and appeal. I, I got no idea if people would jump into it. But uh, if you are interested in that there, uh, this one, those, those figures were really awesome. Uh, I have a bunch of them, like uh, the main six, Celestia, um, the royal couple, and yeah, they, they were a lot of fun to get. And yeah, they look good. They, they look really good. Um, example is something like this. Uh, this is a um, miniature figure of what I'm talking about. It won't be this. It would be three times the size of this. This is one of those... Oh, I forgot. I, I forgot what they call it, but it was a bit... What do you call this? Uh, it was a bit... This is a bit smaller. It came in a small box. A blind box, actually. And uh, for this one, you'll get to see what you get. And the color would be um, proper. Uh, the ponies accurate show color uh, the vinyl I just show you it would be black the one I got was a very special glow-in-the-dark version which kind of matches her um, coat but anywho um, getting back on track can't wait for the fun coat to arrive and see who we get I'm assuming we're gonna get the main five probably we we'll just have to wait and see and with that let's head into well the next topic and next topic is what have I been doing my week so um my week has been pretty um, awesome kind of yes uh, the past week was a little bit tree and that means national holiday a lot of traveling a lot of eating a lot of celebration and whatnot and yeah I did a lot of that um didn't really do much beyond that so we just had holidays and so on, uh, eat and whatever, hang out with families and friends. Uh, other than that, nothing really, because it's kind of a slow week. And in terms of pony news, I had to really scrape to find something that I find interesting to share with you guys. And good thing I had some. So yeah, um, I'm gonna wrap things up because I got no idea what to say. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters, the show's Twitter account is blah, 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 blah. Uh, You can also reach us on the Twitters, the show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on, uh, you can also catch us on from the live.com, links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio for the Reviewing Discussion Podcast, where me and friends review the Pony Comics episodes, specials, movies, and whatever. Sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. We do cartoons, comics, mangas, animes, movies, and video games. Yes, we do, we do that too. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, Master Flag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have read Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!